the big banks and Stroob's show coming at you once more. He's big banks. This is Stroob's. Let's roll. Hey, man's never been in. When it's shut down, that's not me and it's shut down. Ring, ring, pussy, it's shut down. Hey. Fashion week and it's shut down. Went to the show sitting in the front row in a black tracksuit and it's shut down. Oh, oh, oh. Touch the road and it's shut down. Boy, I better know when it's shut down. Yeah. Yeah, take time if a man want to try me. No time. You say both. Thanks when I again, folks, for joining Big Banks and Shrubs. We're coming to you on a Sunday night. What are we working on, Big Banks? Show the folks at home. Shock Top. Shock Top. Great beer. As usual, we're about two deep into the uh, into the Shock Tops. And tons of info coming at you today. Tons of takes on the latest and greatest uh, headlines. Uh, Number one is going to be what has plagued the, the country, what the, the, the country's been worried about for the entire month of January thus far, and that is the partial federal shutdown. We do have a three-week interim solution in place. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of hardcore conservatives, the like of the, the likes of Coulter and the, uh, the kind of the always Trumpers, a mm-hmm. little disappointed in, uh, in DJT, mm-hmm. in uh, Big 45, uh, What's your take on that, Big Banks? Is that uh, is that warranted? Is that a fair assessment, a fair critique of uh, of Mr. Trump? Well, I think I know why people are upset. You know, he that was one of his main um, building the wall, building the wall. Main yeah, everything was about like building the wall. But see, I think a lot of conservatives need to hold tight because he gave Nancy what he wanted. She said, "If you open up the government, we can have conversations." Well, he's just trying to see if she's going to hold to the word, but he still have the ace in the hole. You think the bargaining chips, he hasn't relinquished the bargaining chips? You think? Nah. He's still the president. So if you want to call it a national security issue, he can call it and he can find money from other agencies to build a wall. That's something he does still have in his pocket. That's a, that's a card he could certainly play. I don't know if that's going to be uh, likely. I don't know if that's really going to be the go-to. But if uh, if the Dems are showing are, are dragging their feet and are showing less willingness to, to still go for a firm solution and a full-scale solution, then... Uh, then you can always use the uh, the uh, auspices of the presidency for emergency uh, executive emergency powers. Mm-hmm. Um, don't know if that's an angle he's going to do. We are still up in the air on the State of the Union. It was supposed to be this Tuesday, uh, less than uh, approximately you know, about two days mm-hmm. from now, from this filming. Uh, might or might not happen. Uh, he's probably got... What he wants to say is his speech writers have most certainly already put pen to paper right. and, and his speech is probably already written and ready and rearing to go. So I can only say that Nancy said again, if you open up the government, we can talk the about how it's yours. The chamber is yours and you can go ahead and proceed with the State of the Union. So we'll still await the, uh, the news on that, whether there will be a delay, whether it will go on as scheduled. Um, but to me, I don't think Trump was really hurt in this whole shutdown situation. A lot of never Trumpers are always going to be never Trumpers. True. And I think when you look at the polls right now, it's the hardcore ones who are saying he caved. Though they're they're they're, they're the ones out in. Uh, I don't think he caved. You caved if you open up the government and then give DACA. And you, you and, right. You gave right. him something. It's just still status quo right now. Nothing was actually given. Nothing was actually achieved in the situation. So he just opened up the government, and I think it was a win-win situation for everybody for right now. Government workers get paid, they get their money back, life can go forward, and hopefully within this three weeks moratorium on the shutdown situation, sure. they can actually hammer out some good ideas so they can come through conference between the Senate and the House and make a great bill. Officially, the record is already set, though. DJT is in the record books for another reason, and that is the all-time longest-lasting shutdown, yeah. even though this one, uh, in comparison to prior shutdowns, this one was a lot less impactful in terms of um, the nature of closures and the the number of probably federal workers who are deemed essential probably surpasses what's been uh, incorporated or included in any of the other counts of prior shutdowns. So keep that in mind when when the media is trying to tell you about the um, the the magnitude of this particular shutdown and how long it went and those those poor feds who lost out on paychecks. You know who well. They didn't lose out on paycheck. You know, people who did lose out on paycheck, it's the people who worked around the federal government, the restaurant owners, the hotels. True, the, true. Those people who lost out on, on, feds on who Feds who were not at work for any part of the 25 to 31 mm-hmm. days, they will more likely than not see their pay restored and they will get a nice uh, chunk of, uh, of, of federal salary uh, coming their way for work that was not rendered and not done. So, 
folks, stay tuned on that count. We're going to follow that closely with you. We will uh, continue to give you uh, our opinions on both this shutdown. We'll follow the entire course of the State of the Union, whether that goes off. And uh, who knows? Wait and see. Trust me, listen. Me and my G's ain't scared of police. We don't listen to no politician. Everybody on the same mission, and we don't care about your ism and schisms. Cause it's shut down. That's not me, and it's shut down. Ring, ring, pussy, it's shut down. Fashion week, and it's shut down. Went to the show, sitting in the front row in a black tracksuit, and it's shut down. Touch the road, and it's shut down. Boy, better know.